Hello, everybody. Looks like the gauge says it's empty. Let's take a walk into the kitchen and see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews. Today we got us a black IPA according to what the uh, what the can says. Rate, uh, rate beer calls it a black IPA, but beer advocate calls it a black ale. So I'm not exactly sure why they're calling it a black ale instead of a black IPA. Uh, I don't have uh, I don't have the IBUs listed either on the can or on either of the websites, Rate Beer or Beer Advocate. Uh, it is a 7.2 percenter, uh, so uh, nice alcohol uh, amount for a black IPA or a black ale, whatever it ends up being. It's got IPA on the can, so I'm kind of tend to believe that it's going to have some bitterness to go with it. Uh, commercial description on this says, Lake Fever Black IPA, an American style black India pale ale. It is opaque black in color with a tan head. Brewed with masses of amounts of hops, it has an aggressive hop flavor and aroma with hints of spicy roast malt and firm bitterness at 7.2% alcohol by volume. It is big, bold craft beer with massive flavors and huge hop presence, and it can be paired with all types of main dishes, such as seafood, steak, or barbecue. They're stronger dishes. Uh, and everything off the grill goes well with a black IPA, too, so... Uh, in the black IPAs or black ales, neither one are recognized uh, in the, uh, the the BJCP, the beer judging uh, group. So uh, it doesn't have a lot of cuisine uh, uh, listed here. It said food pairings, none yet, because it's not a recognized style. Glass bar, pint, macaronic, tumbler, mug, size Sidel, oversized wine glass. Got my favorite glass today, uh, solid beer glass, and not recommended for extended celery because it's an IPA. Even though it's 7.2, it's going to keep for a little while. The hot flavors are going to fade, so you don't want to you don't want to sell your IPAs, guys. Either black IPAs or your regular IPAs, not even your double IPAs, uh, unless they're just overly boozy. That would be the only reason you would try to sell something like that. And then they're going to turn more malty if you do sell them. So. If you like that hot punch and hot kip, uh, drink a fresh. That's what I do. All right, let's get on with this one, guys. That's all we need to talk about. Uh, let's get the can popped on this thing. This does not have a date. This was sent to me by John. Uh, he sent me two beers out of the uh, North Carolina area. These guys are out of Lenore, North Carolina. Very black coming out of the can. Looks like it's fairly well carbonated, so I'm not going to pour it down the center. We're going to pour it right down the side, and we're still going to get a couple fingers of head on this. All right, Lake Fever, Black IPA. These guys are not available here in Virginia. Uh, got a feeling they're a fairly small brewery. Uh, not quite two fingers of head on that pour, about a finger and a half of head. Over into the light, there is none, not even in the small part of the glass on the bottom here. It is pitch black. Black, black, black. Let's get a nose on. Good looking beer. Right off the bat, I'm getting some roasted malt. There is some hoppiness to it. It's not overly hoppy. It's not like a West Coast style black IPA. But there is some hops and some pine. A little bit of citrus in this, uh, maybe a hint of some caramel and toffee. Got a nice citrusy smell to it, though. Hmm, very interesting. 
but it's chilled right out of the fridge, 40 degrees, so it may change a little bit as it comes to room temperature, and I will let it do that, so let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, John. Thank you, brother. It's got a nice hot presence. It's opening up more as it warms up a little bit. Here we go. Definitely a nice hop kick to it. I would I would think the IBUs on this are probably around 70. Hints of cocoa. Bittersweet. Definitely got a nice hop kick to it. It definitely has a hop there. This is definitely an IPA, not a nail, not a pale ale. The IBUs are way too, way too strong for 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 it to be a black pale ale. Very nice. Very nice. It's, it does have a strong bitterness to it, which leads me to say that it's, it's definitely an IPA. It's a little on the thin side. I was expecting a little more roasted malt, but it's an IPA, so you gotta you gotta judge. They've used some darker malt to get this color, but it's not in the West Coast style at all. This would definitely be either an East Coast style or maybe even an English style. Because I'm not getting a whole lot of pininess or grapefruitiness in there. Let me hit it one more time. I'm not exactly sure. There's some kind of flavor that I'm getting here. I don't think it's the hops, but it's got a different kind of bitterness to it. I don't want to call it metallic, but maybe that'll go away when once it warms up. So let me take it back out here and step on it for a little bit and let her have a taste or two and uh, let it warm up. Definitely has a some kind of bitter twang to it other than the hops. So. Let's see where this one ends up, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. As this has warmed up, it has gotten increasingly and increasingly bitter. It is way over bitter. And first, I thought it may be some metallicness from the can or something or, or whatever. Maybe it even infected. Uh, but there are some hints of the uh, roasted malt and just a little bit of bittersweet chocolate and... and uh, and a uh, hot presence there, but it is way over bitter in my opinion, guys. It's it's not pleasant to drink. It's almost like biting into an aspirin. You got that bottle tone. I have had a lot of uh, black IPAs, and I'm I'm sorry to say this one it would, would definitely not be on my top ten list. Uh, it is way over bitter for the amount of sweetness, sweet malt that's in this beer, and for the amount of uh, roasty uh, malt in this beer, there's not enough sweetness to balance out the bitterness. Uh, it is, to me, it's just way up a bitter, guys. That's where I'm going to leave it. Uh, I would, 
now that I've been sipping on it and letting it warm up, I would say the IBUs are way overbearing on this beer compared to the sweet malt. I would think they are, it tastes like the IBUs are in the 90s or even 100 on this beer, and that's way over bitter. Uh, I'm glad I got to try it. I appreciate John sending this to me, but I was not impressed with this. It's not a well-made beer. It's not a, uh, not a beer that everything comes together and, and works well. It's just... It's just too bitter. Uh, guys, I'm going to give it to five. Uh, I think this beer uh, could be done better. I've actually done uh, better beers than this. So, uh, I'm glad I got to try it. So, John, thanks again. I hope it didn't hurt your feelings, but uh, I try to be as honest as I can. This was not that impressive. Uh, it started off good, but I was thinking that uh, I was getting more metallic taste, but it's not metallic. It's not like, it's just bitterness. It's just overly bitter. Uh, over to Beer Advocate, they don't have any, they don't have a score for this because only like three or four guys have rated it. But their ratings are very good. Uh, everyone that's done it, the ratings have been in, in, in the four, four out of five range. So that, those are awesome numbers. And I thought, well, this is going to be a really impressive beer. And then when we get over to uh, Rate Beer, Rate Beer says overall 50 and 12 in the style. Pretty, pretty bleak numbers there. Uh, either you love it or you hate it. So I don't know if they're having an issue with the sanitation or, or they did a bad batch or, or what's going on there. Either you love it or you hate it. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Uh, I, think it's, uh, I think it's marginal. Uh, I don't even know if I would say it's above average. Uh, like I said, I've had, I've had a, quite a few uh, uh, black IPAs that were a little sweeter and a little easier drinking than this. I'm, I can still taste the bitterness of this beer on the back of my palate. It's got the very bitter aftertaste in my mouth. So, But that being said, if you've had this one from uh, Howard Brewing Company, their black IPA, let me know what you think. And let's go see if we can find a little bit better beer tomorrow. See you then.